Hello everyone, this is Argon Matrix welcoming you to episode 7 of Kirby's Epic Yarn. Also, today is my day! Today is my one year LP anniversary. Oh yeah! And do I have anything special planned to post today? No. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just. It just kind of like came up on me and like I kind of forgot about it because there's so much going on in my life. But yeah, today is the day. It is. I, uh, pfft, oh, what am I doing? Um, February 26th, 2010. One year from today, or one year ago today, I posted. Let's play The Legend of Zelda: Ocarina of Time Part One. And now it is February 26th, 2011. The day that I'm posting this. Most likely not the day that you're watching it. I don't know. We will see. Well, it should be the day that you're watching it. Probably for a lot of you people. But I'm thinking in the future. Gotta think about the future, because the future is now. So, thank you all for getting me this far. This It really isn't my special, so I shouldn't be talking about it. And I should be talking about the game more than anything. But... Yep, thank you all for getting me this far, you rock and- Ow, cr Can I get- Can I not get blown up by a bomb, please? Thank you. And I'll be posting a special sometime this week, probably. I might do a stream and a video or something, I don't know. Not quite sure yet. All I'm sure is that we need to get some beads going here, because I need gold. Oh, come on! How am I so stupid? No! <laughs> Crap, I was afraid that it was going to explode on me again right there. This is so embarrassing. Especially since I've played this level before. Yes. Well, I obviously I've played it before because I've gotten to like the last world in this game before, but I mean I've played it before recently because this is actually my second attempt at recording this. Because the first one screwed up somehow, I don't know. Hopefully this one works out well. Alright, so. Uh, dude! Oh, that, that actually did work, okay. Oh, come on! No! Jeez, I'm just off my game today. It's probably because I'm sick. Yeah, I don't know if you can tell in my voice, but I have, like, a slight cold, and it's been bothering me all day, pretty much, but... You know what? I decided I need to record something for you people, so... Here you go. Hopefully my voice is not too detrimental to your ears. Alright. I need to go faster here. I don't need to be taken all day on this one freaking level. So, um, yeah, that's that, in terms of lp anniversary. Uh, crap, oh my god, I almost fell off. That would have been pretty horrible. I really like this level. Th this level is actually pretty fun, it's like, one of, it's probably one of my favorite levels so far, like, there are other levels later on that are better than this one, probably. But this is definitely a good one. Hey, look, I got the star, cool. You got a grand star! Anyway, sorry for the lateness of this video. I'm actually recording this pretty late, as, and that obviously means that I'm going to be posting it late, too. And that's because I got kind of sidetracked today. I was playing some games like, you know, Okami, uh, Super Mario Bros. The Lost Levels. Yeah, really. Oh, I'm going to get blown up if I don't get out of the way. Um, Paper Mario a little bit. But mostly, I just got sidetracked watching freaking movies, man. I only watched two movies, too, which is kind of sad, seeing as like, it's this late in the day already. But I watched uh, Flubber, which I haven't watched in, like, eons, pretty much. And then I watched The Simpsons movie, which I haven't watched in years. <laughs> that was one freaking awesome movie. It's hilarious, too. Like, they did not disappoint with that movie, I tell you. While I'm talking about this while playing Kirby, got me. Alright, so there's the second treasure, the cartoon meat. And Yarn Snake, go! And we have bronze already, I didn't really mention that, because, I don't know, you're probably getting the hang of this. this it's the seventh episode, so you probably have the general idea of how this game works. But do you have the general idea of how this works? New transformation! That's right, we got a fire truck! So here we go, this fire truck is, um, it basically sprays water with one, and you can, like, knock down beads and stuff, and... You can jump with it, which is really kind of strange. If only real fire trucks could jump, that would probably help a lot. 
Well, I don't know, maybe not, because they that would probably cause massive destruction and chaos and everything. But it would mean you could get to fires higher up a lot easier. I don't know. Ah, uh, brain crack, I tell you. All right, let's get past these flaming pillars of duo death. Jeez, look at this guy. This guy reminds me of like those other enemies, the Cyclopses in the Kirby. Ga this is a Kirby game, dude. I'm trying to like make a reference to another game, and I'm I'm referencing a Kirby game without thinking about it, dude. I am just so weird. Haven't we already faced off against those? Yeah, we did in the weird woods. You know those enemies, like the Cyclops things. Reminds me of those guys, except these ones are on fire. Alright, and now, the second half of the level is going to intensify the action a little bit, because, oh my god, the lava is going to start rising extremely slowly towards the ceiling. This is the scariest moment in the game, folks. No, I'm just kidding. Well, maybe it is, I don't know. I haven't beaten the game, so... And it's a Kirby game, so it's not scary at all, but... Indeed. And they're, they're like, I've faced many worse levels than this, like... Ones where, oh, I'm gonna, I just robbed myself out of that star. Great. Where, like, the lava's rising in games, like, in Mario games and Donkey Kong games, like, Donkey Kong Returns, or Donkey Kong Country Returns. That game has, like, one of the most deadly, freaking, in annoying, hard, whatever, lava rising stages of any game I've ever played. It is just the devil. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go look up, like, World 6K, I think it's called. You will know what I'm talking about once you watch a video of it or something. Alright. Yes! Got up here. Sweet. So, I'll pr I might post another Mario RPG video today along with this, as, like, a dual upload. Uh, it would be a Majora's Mask since I posted Mario RPG yesterday, but, uh, unfortunately, I did not manage to... Or, I'm, what am I saying? I did not manage to. Uh, when I went to edit today's episode of uh, Majora's Mask, it turned out that it, there was a massive audio desync, and it's just a product that I'm not proud to put out, so... I'm gonna have to re-record that, which is sad, because the last time I saved was, like, uh... Oh, last time I permanently saved was before I went to fight Georg, so I have to go fight him again, which is ever so not fun. All right. Did I beat this level yet? Oh god, it's coming. Ah, uh, no! It caught up! No! Not at the last second! Kirby! How could you just run into a wall like that? Well, you know what? At least I still have gold. So, hooray. And, do we, how many bonus speeds do we get? Two? Or two sets? I can handle that. Alright. There we go. Is there anything else I can talk about? Yeah, so... Super Mario RPG today, video might be coming later tonight. Um, oh, I'll have to go back to school on Monday. That's gonna be horrible. And I still have to do some homework and stuff. Yeah. I hate when they get assign you homework on, like, long breaks like this, because... Really, who, who does that before, like, the very end of the break? Seriously, like... Because you just, like, forget about it because you're busy doing other stuff, like playing video games for the internet. And look, it's a giant blue genie! And he just beat up the boxing. He, no, he beat up the roll fabric. That was great. That was, like... That was more exciting than, like, Rocky versus Ivan Drago right there. I'll tell you. Alright, what time are we up to? Only nine minutes? That's pretty amazing. Because in my last recording of this, I was up to, like, 12 minutes by this point. I don't know what I was talking about all that time. I was trying to think of, like, things to vlog about, and I ended up just, like, being silent and going, like, uh, uh, a lot, so... I'm kind of glad that the recording screwed up on that one, because I don't think it would have been one of the better episodes. Not that this is turning out much better, anyways. Oh, this part's so annoying. Because you have to, like, get this, like, perfect... Oh, I did it on the first try! Yes! See that jump right there that I just did with the car? Yeah, that is probably, a, like, one of the hardest jumps in this game, if you want to... Like, it's an optional jump, but it is hard as hell. I don't even know why. Because you have to, like, jump at the exact moment that you're on the edge of this platform. And this platform falls to boot. Like, ah, I wanted to show that. Like that. See, it's like a tongue. It's like the tongue of the cave. Yum. Uh-oh, I'm gonna get crushed. Yeah, <laughs> there you go. Oh, I knew that was coming. 
and I still went anyways. Oh well. Did I rec reclaim all of my beads? That would be cool if I did. Alright, so just keep falling. Just keep falling. Just keep falling. Ooh, look at that. It's all the colors of the rainbow down there. Oh god. Uh, can I just... Sweet! Oh, I don't get any beads out of that, though. That's lame. And I think if we head down through here, then we can reach the rainbow and collect it for our greedy little selves. Yeah, Kirby, you like that, don't you? So, here we have, like, a little yarn snake maze, which we're gonna want to enter there in a little bit to progress with the level. But first, you're gonna need to head down here so that we can get... Suspense. 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 Treasure! It's a crystal. Yep. You would have figured that if they ever had a crystal treasure in this game, they would have to put it in the cavern level. Why is this level even in Hotland? Like, like I kind of get it. Like, sometimes, like, volcanic caves are, like, full of crystals and they're cold and stuff. Like, yeah, but this just seems so out of place. I don't know. Whatever. That's just me being stupid. Oh my god, a yarn snake eater. We gotta get out of here. Before he nom nom noms us. Oh. So what have you guys been up to? Jeez, that's the sign that I've run out of commentary where I ask for what you guys have been doing in your lives. Uh, I've been actually kind of getting into like ROM hacks. and Not even just like Mario World ROM hacks. I'm making one of those myself and those of you who follow me on Twitter slash Facebook will know about that. But I'm actually kind of playing one. It's a Mario RPG ROM hack. I'll probably talk about that more in an episode of Mario RPG itself, because now is neither the time nor place to be talking about that. Well, I guess it kind of is the time, because there's really no good time to talk about that. And it is the place, because I always report in the same place. But I just don't want to talk about it right now. I'm telling you. If you irk me on about that, I swear to God. Alright, no! Crap! Well, at least I killed it. Get, get the star, get the star, thank you. And what's this for? That's Yeah, that's what I figured. I took the dangerous route when I had no reason to whatsoever. Just ran face first into that freaking ball spikes. Alright, oh, that treasure. This treasure, I remember it being a lot, like, really hard to get. But apparently it's really easy to get based on my last recording of this, because, like, I don't know, I didn't have really much trouble with this at all, but, I don't know, this might be a different story. Basically, you gotta lure this thing over here and pull that, and yeah, see, that's actually pretty easy, now that I just did it myself, again. I don't know why, I remember having like, seven or eight failed attempts at that before I actually got it right when I first played through the game. Maybe it was because it was my first playthrough of the game, though, so I can credit it to that, I suppose. You know? Yeah, I didn't know what to do! Get off my back! Or right, float down like a little balloon here. Here comes the red balloon! Stand by! Mer, mer, mer. Oh my god, no one's gonna get that. There are only two people on the face of this earth that are, that will ever get that reference, and I'm one of them. I swear, that's, that's not even an exaggeration. There are only two people. Which tells you that it's basically an inside joke between me and one of my friends. You don't need to know about it. That might be funnier out of context than anything. Okay, can I get these beads? Thank you. Alright, I need to get up there, too, so I can get the whatever's behind there, probably. Beads. Beads and more beads. Yep, there you go. Did I predict it, or did I predict it? Alright. So you want to be careful here not to get crushed between the ceiling and these little waves through the earth. I don't know how that's happening, but okay. I won't question it. Alright, up to silver now. Good stuff. If Kirby's epic yarn was an Olympic event, I would win the gold every time. Oh no! Except right there. Because these guys are annoying. Alright, gotta get down there. You gotta be sneaky about this one. Gotta be quick! Alright. No! Crap! Oh. Thank goodness for parachute, Kirby. Otherwise, I'd have just run smack dab into those spikes. And here we have a neat little section of falling stalactites. So, just don't get crushed by them. That would really hurt. Of course, you can't die since you're made out of yarn, so... No! Oh my god. That was really scary. I'm not even kidding. I, I like, pissed my pants right there. Alright, so let's get up here. And gotta wait to get past this thing. Here we go. And what is this now? It is a patch. 
Cool beans. Did I just say cool beans? Who says that anymore? I don't know. I'm bringing it back, baby. Okay, what am I doing down here? Alright, all oh, this part can be annoying. Like, in my last recording of this, I know I've been talking about that a lot lately, and I shouldn't be, but... I was... I got, like, dumbfounded by this to no end, and I don't even know why. It's not that hard. Hopefully, I'll be able to do it better now, because I have a little bit more practice on it. Because, basically, there's just these three continually falling stalactites, and you just gotta get the timing right on it, and... Jump from platform to platform, until you get to the very top. Alright. And get this bead, which is always nice. Get up here and get another bead. I'm beginning to narrate the events, which is not funny in the least. So did any of you guys see the Runaway Guys videos for today? I just tell you, man, that was pretty. That was one pretty awesome board. I enjoyed it. I don't know what, a, what why I brought that up at all, because pretty much because I'm running on, on empty for things to talk about. Damn it! See, this is what I'm talking about. If you get off by, like, half a second while doing this platforming, then you're screwed. You can't recover. Okay, there we go. Just a little bit more here. Just a little bit more, sir. There we go. And down on this tongue. And I think we already have a recurring or a recycled transformation. Here we go, the digger again. Everyone's favorite, right? Yup. Oh, from the longest episode of Kirby's Epic Yarn to date. Although, I don't know, this one might come close to being the longest one. I don't even know what the timer's at right now. I'd imagine it's around 15 minutes. In which case, how are you still here? I haven't been talking about anything interesting or funny or anything. Stupid wall of D! I will nom nom your face with my drill digger thing. Alright, come on now. Oh no, no, this thing's gonna eat me. Is that a thing from Donkey Kong? I swear there's an enemy that's just like that, that fiery rotating thing in Donkey Kong. How can there be a fire enemy in Kirby yarn game anyways? Like, how does that work when the yarn just catch fire and die? Whatever. Oh yeah, it got gold. And wait for this guy to pass. And let's see if we can get out of here yet. Not quite yet? Okay. Ah, tearing this apart, tearing this whole world apart. Jeez, oh my goodness, that reminds me of The Room, the worst movie ever made, maybe. If you haven't seen that movie, you're missing out, man. It's not good by any means, like I just said, it's one of the worst movies ever. But it's so bad that it's worth seeing, if that makes sense. I'm sure many of you have heard about it, but... Okay, here's the frog mirror. <laughs> Which is the most ridiculous looking thing I've ever seen in my life. But truthfully, I would love to own it because I am a big fan of frogs. They're probably my favorite animal. Right, there we go. Level complete. Oh, do I get... Do I get it? Yes, I got the five firework bead things. 1665. Probably something of significance happened in that year. I don't know. Alright, what time are we at here? Oh, 18 and a half minutes. Okay. Well, I'll probably be ending off this video... Yeah, sorry for this not being really anything, sp any special kind of part for the one year LP anniversary. I just, just another day of Kirby's Epic Yarn and probably a Mario RPG. Ooh, brand new hide and seek stage. That's cool. So I guess we'll just throw the torch patch, and we'll light a blazing fire under the raw meat there. Wow, that's a big fire. And then the fire just dies somehow. All right, damn, that meat cooked quickly. Hey, Barney. What are you doing here? Like, that doesn't really look like Barney at all. He's just a purple dinosaur, so... That's what I thought. No! I just cooked that! How dare you? That's so piggly. That's so piggly. Right, but he unlocked Dino Jungle for us, so I guess that's kind of worth it. Whatever. Alright, so... I guess that's that for this one-year lp uh video. Um, expect some kind of special thing, like a streamer... Damn it a stream or a video later this week, and expect another video tonight of Mario RPG, and next time we will take on the Dino Jungle, which reminds me of Diddy Kong Racing. Okay, so next time, wait, I just said that, okay, thank you everyone for watching, and until next time, this is Argon Matrix, signing out. Thank you, and good night.